In this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the greatest common factor, or we call it GCF. Let's say you are tasked to find the GCF of 24, 36, and 60. So how to find the greatest common factor? So by its name, greatest common factor, that means we have a set of factors of 24, 36, and 60, and we're going to find the common and also, we are going to find the greatest among those common factors. And there are three methods to find the GCF. Either we do listing, prime factorization, or continuous division. So either of these three can let you find the GCF. But in our discussion, we are going to use all these three to get the GCF of 24, 36, and 60. And of course, we will expect that it should be the same result for these three methods. Now let's start with listing method. So we're going to find the factors of 24, 36, and 60. So we're going to start with 24. So to find the factors of 24, we will find all the possible pairs of numbers that when you multiply them, it will be 24. So 24 can be written as 24 times 1 or 12 times 2 or 8 times 3 or 6 times 4. So all these pairs will result to a product of 24. So that means the factors of 24 are we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. So those are the factors of the number 24. Now next is we're going to find the factors of 36. So let us find all the pairs of 36. We have 36 times 1, 18 times 2, 12 times 3, and 9 times 4. So all these pairs will result to a product of 36. Now let us write the uh, list of factors of 36 based on the result. So it's all 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 12, 18, and 36. So those are the factors of 36. So next is we're going to find the factors of 60. So let's find all the pairs for 60. 60 times 1, 30 times 2, 20 times 3, 15 times 4, 12 times 5, and 10 times 6. So all these pairs will give you a product of 60. And now let us write the factors of 60 based on the, uh, the, the pairs that we have uh, produced. So the factors for 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. Now we highlighted or we, we changed the color of the common factors among all the factors of these three numbers. So we have the common factors 1, 2, 3, 4, and 12. And the rest are not common to all. So those factors which are just common to two numbers is not counted. It must be all three numbers. So, and among those common factors, the greatest is 12. So the greatest common factor is 12. Now this time, we are going to use prime factorization method to find the greatest common factor of 24, 36, and 60. So this means we're going to change the 24, 36, and 60 into products of prime numbers. And so let's do the prime factorization. We're going to use the factor tree. So let's start with 24. We can separate it into 2. We have 2 and 12. Now 2 is already prime, so let's separate 12 into 2. We have 4 and 3. And then we'll continue with 4. It can be separated into 2 and 2. So that means the, the transform form of 24 is 
2 times 2 times 2 times 3. How about 436? So let's separate this. This can be written as 2 times 18. And then 18 can be written as 9 times 2. And 9 can be written as 3 times 3. So that is uh, 436. So now let's have the transform form of 36 as product of prime numbers. We have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now for 60, let's separate this into 2 and 30. And 30 can be break into 2. We have 15 times 2. As well as 15, it can be separated into 3 and 5 because 3 times 5 is 15. And now the transform form of 60 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Now we highlighted the colored, I mean the common factors or common numbers in the transform forms of the numbers. So the commons are there, all of these have two twos and one threes. The rest are not common, the two, three, and five. So there are two twos and one three in, the, in each number. So we, that means those are the common factors and we're going to multiply them. So to find the greatest common factor, so we will multiply 2 times 2 times 3. Those are the common uh, primes, So, which is equal to 12. So that is the greatest common factor. Now this time we're going to use the continuous division method in finding the GCF. And I believe this will be the easiest way to find the GCF of a of a set of numbers. So this is how you do it. So we'll have this box, the pendulum and the uh, um, a vertical bar. So it looks like a division, but it's, it's like an inverted. So I'm gonna put all the three numbers, 24, 36, and 60 inside, and then we will divide. So we will divide this by a number that can divide all these three. So it can be divided by 2 because all these 3 are even. So you can have 2. Or you can have 4 if you want. So, But we will just do it step by step. So we'll start with 2. So 24 divided by 2 is 12. 36 divided by 2 is 18. And 60 divided by 2 is 30. Now 12, 18, and 30 are all even numbers. That means they are still divisible by 2. So let's continue. That's why it's called continuous division because it continually divides the three numbers. So let's divide it by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Now observe that 6, 9, and 15 are still divisible by a common number, which is 3. So let us continue dividing. So we're going to divide it by 3. We have 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And so we have 2, 3, and 5, and which are you know, prime numbers, and they don't have a common number to divide. And so we are going to have now the DCF. Now we change the colors of the numbers on the left, which are the divisors, because these are the numbers that we needed to get the greatest common factor. We are going to multiply all these divisors. So let's have the GCF. We have 2 times 2 times 3. It will be 12. And that is the greatest common factor. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.